Who'd you sit there and blow in your ear, too? <laughs> <laughs> I think it's an even trade. Yeah, the thing yeah. with Matt Barnes is you're, you're getting rid of your only uh, set of balls on the team. Yeah, only well, enforcer. Yeah, bringing about eight pairs of those balls. Yeah, I was going to say, the, like, the one guy that's angrier than Matt Barnes yeah. is Lance Stevenson. He's got, he's got <laughs> as many of these nuts as he has these nuts. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. No one can see you pointing. I know. <laughs> <laughs> it's a quote from Snatch. Watch the movie. <laughs> the thing is, though. <laughs> Watch Matt, the movie to get my joke. Yeah. Lance Stevenson is a bigger douche than Matt Barnes, but I think Matt Barnes is much tougher. No. He's definitely yeah. a better defender. That's for sure. He yeah. defended Kobe. Yeah. Uh, Go open his face. Well, that's why Al Jefferson came back. Oh, yeah, my bodyguard. Yeah. I got Matt Barnes to back me up. There we go. Uh, I don't know what their height stats are, but I think Barnes probably has a little more length than Stevenson, too. Yeah, Stevenson's short and stocky. Yeah. Yeah. But he's an all around player, and if he can get yeah. it going in LA and score. off yeah. the bench, yeah. it, that's a nice would, little pickup. Yeah, I would say when motivated, he's like definitely the better player. I just looked it up. Stevenson's about ear level. <laughs> ear level? Yeah. <laughs> Good night, everybody. <laughs> uh, the Pistons have uh, picked up Ersan Ilazova from the Bucks in exchange for Karan Butler and Sean Williams. Irrelevant all over the place, though. Yep. Who cares? Denver hires Mike as their new coach. Oh, wow. Oh, hey. Congratulations. <laughs> that's, that's Michael Malone. Oh, oh, oh trigger oh. Mike? Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> I know, right? Uh, he was on. Uh, he coached the. Kings, right? Yes. Ugh. Yeah. Oof. But Did Cousins really? didn't like him, so Cousins fired him. Yeah. Family issues. Yeah. Um, <laughs> and Does that the rub it into Mike D'Antoni's face? We're going to hire another Michael yeah. instead. It equally is irrelevant. Mike. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> In fact, he's, he has less accolade than you. One with less of a resume than you Jeez. do. Yes. We hate you. Uh, we just wanted to get your hopes up. Die, you son of a bitch. Wow. You read my letter. My <laughs> <laughs> So you share my feelings on Mike D'Antoni? <laughs> um, now to the finals. This is a very high-rated series. And this one, uh, Game 4 was up 34% from last year's Game 4, 19.8 million. It's the highest-rated NBA final series since Michael Jordan has played the game. We well, knew it was going to be. It's a good series. LeBron, he always gets the ratings. And then Steph Curry is beloved by, by people that don't even watch basketball. They're right. like, I know who Steph Curry is. He's a cutie pants. He's so handsome. <laughs> <laughs> He's super handsome. Uh, yeah, it's uh, it's been a great series so far. LeBron has uh, failed to keep the Cavs in the... In He's the done room. everything he could. That's true. His really teammates has. have failed him. You know, it, this was a, whole, a totally different conversation last week when the Warriors were down 2-1. to one. Yeah, you know what it does, though? It comes down to coaching, and Steve Kerr is proving to be by far <laughs> the better coach than LeBron James. I, I'd say the video guy is a better coach than uh, Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you, you know, I was thinking the same thing. You know, to say LeBron has failed at not being able to carry his team further, I, I think, is a little unfair. Mm -hmm. Although, uh, you know, I like LeBron because he plays for my team, and he's really good, but it, he is a really hard player to like. But... I, you know, that being said, I can't really blame the losses on him. I just, I don't ha understand at all what David Blatt's mentality is, why he's only playing six guys, and why two of them are uh, Mike Miller's ghost and yeah. <laughs> freaking James E.T. looking James Jones. <laughs> They're like, he's like, these guys worked for you last year, right, LeBron? Yeah. Like, you got Sean Marion on the bench. Yes, one of you the best need, defensive players need a, in the game a long wing defender for Iguodala and Thompson. Yes. Like, why is Sean Marion not getting any minutes? I agree. And, I, you know, I understand that he defended the Mozgov move and that, you know, technically it worked. Mm -hmm. But, you know, that he, that's not saying that he's really using Mozgov right. I think no. you need to leave him in the game and, and get him the ball in the post. Mozgov's 28 points in game four were mainly – uh, um, off of offensive rebounds and just inside kind of catch and dunk mm -hmm. type of passes. They never get him the ball in the post. He's a really good offensive post player if they'd give him a shot and take a little bit of the load off LeBron, but I don't I don't know what Blatt's doing. He's confusing me. Well, here's my biggest complaint about Blatt. First of all, I, I like that they're losing, so it's not a real complaint. But <laughs> him as a coach, two things. First of all, Mozgov played, I think, five minutes in game five, uh, if that. And uh, was basically irrelevant. Mm -hmm. My biggest complaint for him as a coach is, uh, so the Warriors have decided they're going to go small because that's what works for them. They can keep the pace up, the tempo up, and they can outrun you. So Blatt says, oh, well, we'll match you with yeah. the small team. <laughs> How about you challenge them and make them play to your big yeah. team? Use with your two, big. Yeah, with two we'll match you with two 53-year-old 
shooting guards <laughs> oh and Mike Miller God. and James Jones. Right. Yeah, Let, let's try and match your youth, your yeah. speed, and your quickness yeah. with our fucking geriatrics the, over here. The Warriors' biggest Man. guy, Bogut, Mozgov shit all over him in Game 4. Well, Bogut didn't even hit the floor in yeah, Game yeah, 5. Yeah, exactly, yeah. If they would have put Mozgov in, yeah. Bogut would have seen a lot more time, and, yeah. and I think you would have seen a different outcome, or at least a closer outcome. Definitely. Well, yeah. Mozgov played a huge role in Game 4, and he had mm-hmm. 28 points, and the Cavs still lost huge. And that's, you know, Blatt defended his decision, decision saying, you know, we played Mozgov. He had a big game in Game 4, and as a team, it didn't help us at all. Game 5, he only played in five minutes, and it was a lot closer game. It was still a 10-point game or whatever. But, but you know, that goes back to the original point. You need to play him. You just aren't. Oh, oh no. no. Bill, Bill. Are you there? Sound like he farted. It did sound like he farted. <laughs> uh, I'll, I'll go on with that. Mozgov didn't lose the game for playing. Farted. Mozgov didn't lose the game for them in the game four. No, LeBron had a down game. If LeBron oh, yeah. had the same game that he had last night with Mozgov in there, they would have dominated the Golden State Warriors. Yes, because they wouldn't have been able to stop Mozgov, and then LeBron could have kept the ball for himself. That's sixty-eight points between the two right there. Mm-hmm. N- there's nobody else that had that. J.R. Smith had a great first half. And a horrible second half, and you're not going to get that with Mozgov. If you put like like uh, what Phil was saying, if you put fucking Sean Marion in there, he can guard someone that's scoring. Sean Marion is one of the best defensive players in the game at this point, and he helped Dallas win a title a couple years ago. Phil, are you back? Yeah, I'm. Oh, okay, there he is. So I completely agree with Phil. You got to keep yeah. Mozgov in there, especially since the reason the Cavs lost game game five, five. G- game four. Why was the last game four? Game? No, the four. reason they lost okay. game four was mm-hmm. because LeBron had a somewhat down game, not scoring half, only scoring half as much, which is still more than everybody else on the team besides Mozgov. But Mozgov is what kept them in the game. Yeah. And uh, yeah, I understand game four was kind of a wide margin. They fell apart there at the end. But it, in the first half, when they were giving the ball to Mozgov down low, he was causing problems and he was getting Draymond Green in, in foul trouble and frustrating the Warriors. And you just didn't have that at all in Game Five. No. And how many layups did the Warriors take in Game Five? Oh, I know. Mozgov There's... would have been there to clog that hole. Right. Yeah, Barnes would no not... rim protection. Yeah, Barnes. Zero. Barnes finally got going in Game Five. He wouldn't have been able to get going if Mozgov was in that game. Exactly. Nope. Not at all. So let me ask you, fellas, this question. Yes. Even, <laughs> even if the Cavs lose, and when I say even if, when the Cavs lose. And the Warriors take the NBA championship. In game six, like we said. In game six, <laughs> like we said. Should LeBron James still take the finals MVP? Yes. His numbers are better than Jerry West, and Jerry West got it in 1969. As the only other loser That's, to yeah, win, to the, win NBA the NBA finals MVP. MVP. the inception of the award, and he got yep. it. Yep. You are the most valuable player. Hell, you wouldn't have made it to a game six without this guy. Mm-hmm. You wouldn't have made it to the playoffs without this mm-hmm. guy. As long as you don't make LeBron the logo. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> You're right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Does anybody feel that he does not deserve the final? Yes. Oh. Ooh. I don't think he deserves to be most valuable player if your team loses. Hmm. It's you, not his fault that they lost. I, didn't I agree. It was his fault, but he this I, team I, lost. I, the t- the most valuable player should be on the winning team. You're the it? most valuable player, and your team won. Not valuable. Yeah. <laughs> I completely agree. I I'm not a big fan of giving it, even if he's the best player and the most technically valuable player to his team. I mean, you're not valuable enough to win the championship, so you. I don't think he should be MVP. That's how I view it. And I think they should take away Jerry West. (laughs) (laughs) How dare you? How dare you? I think there's a precedent, and it should be. If LeBron is the reason they even got there, they weren't even in the playoffs last year. Yeah. He's the reason they got there. He's the reason they got this far in the playoffs without Kevin Love, who went out in the first round, Mm -hmm. if we need to remind, or second round, early in the second Second round, round. to remind people. They swept the fucking Hawks, a great team. And they made it to the NBA Finals. And they made it to Game 6 now of the NBA Finals and had a 2-1 two, two one lead. That guy's the most valuable player of the NBA Finals. Yeah. Steph Curry had one great game so far. That's it. I Nobody on that. the Golden State Warriors has been the MVP. And None I, of them. I feel like, uh, I don't know, I, I like to take a dump on LeBron as much as anybody, but... <laughs> I kind of feel like I'm like the the Russian audience in Rocky Four, <laughs> and like he's like winning me over slowly. I'm just like I'm like chanting LeBron, like by, I just can't, by dominating. Yeah, he's doing so well. Mm-hmm. Like I, I can't deny it anymore, and it's just 
you know, his team is just so bad. At the end and, of the first quarter, you're like, oh, he's going to get another triple double. Yeah. I can see it coming, right? Yeah, now. I mean, you could look at Stephen Curry and he had a couple bad games in the beginning. And Iguodala, like, I think they're going to like capitalize on his free throw woes a little bit on the <laughs> next game. So it's going to kind of take away. Iguodala, from him. who's normally a 70% shooter, right. went uh, bad this year. Two for 11 last night, yeah. I think it was. Yeah. yeah. Like What's. What's ridiculous is there's people saying that Iguodala should be the MVP for slowing down LeBron when LeBron's getting like 40, 14, and 11. Exactly. Yeah, the only thing that slowed down LeBron was being tired in game four. Yeah, exactly. That's the only thing that will slow down LeBron. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. That Me- happens. Meanwhile, each game, LeBron's getting like a triple-double every game. It's kind of like, God dang, like he's the only one that shows up like yep. every game. It's like, how do you deny him the award, even I though agree. it's kind of an insult to give it to him? But, but it's but... not, because he... The MVP doesn't say it has to be a winner. It says who's the most valuable player of these five. Yeah, let's give it to that loser, LeBron. Right. <laughs> let's give it to Le- Here, here's the consolation prize, but Golden State's the champs. Yeah. Here's the thing. I think oh, go ahead. David Blatt should be the MVP for the Warriors. <laughs> for the Warriors. <laughs> yes, yeah, for yes. the Warriors. I agree with that. If, if LeBron doesn't win it, David Blatt should win it. Yeah. Or Mike I think Miller the Warriors could... are secretly paying him. Mike Miller could get it for the Warriors, too. Who yeah, should? Yeah. Dave, you know what David Blatt right now reminds me of Eric Spolstra when he first got to the finals, though. It's he's the same worse. thing. Yeah, he he's is worse. worse than he is worse. Because Spolstra. Spolstra at least would tell LeBron no. Well, and Spolstra at least had Pat Riley pulling his strings. Yes. Yeah. Right, so he, right. he had intelligence behind him. David Blatt's got Dan Gilbert. Dan Gilbert, <laughs> the guy who hired Mike Brown twice. <laughs> right. <laughs> who hired David Blatt. I mean, yeah. <laughs> let's get to it. Oh, Here's man. the thing. I agree that LeBron should not receive the award if they lose the championship. But I don't know who to give it to on the Warriors because Steph Curry has only had one really good game. Clay yeah. Thompson has not been. He's Clay had one Thompson. good. Clay Thompson had one really yeah, good one game. really good game. No one has had you know amazing games. There's been some role players that have really kept the team alive. Honestly, if you're going to give it to anybody, give it to David Lee for coming in and controlling the tempo and slowing things down and, and really or, helping to get that team under control. Or to Bogut, who was like, okay, no, I'll, I'll sit on the bench. <laughs> I'll sit on the bench. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> well, you know what? If I was a, the player and my team lost and I got the MVP, I'd be pissed. Yeah. Well, I'm, sure Jerry West, I'm, an insult. I'm sure Jerry West didn't like that he got no. the award, oh, but no. he was the best player of that finals. Yeah, and then the way it's totally different now, where like you know you have the ceremony and you got Bill Russell giving yeah. you the fucking award and everything. It's yeah, like, LeBron's like, I want to be in the locker room crying, but I'm out here getting an award. Yeah, right yeah now. exactly. <laughs> I don't think LeBron would have any problem taking that award. He's probably he's like, look, Kobe, but, still better than you. <laughs> How many? Did rings you hear you? what he said in the uh, post game pe- press conference yes, after game yeah. five? Yeah, I mean, of course he. Uh, he's very humble. Yeah, <laughs> I'm the best player in the world. Hold on, hold on. I actually have that clip. Here it is. Do you feel a lot less pressure this finals run just because you are undermanned and you had some injuries uh, as opposed to previous years? Nah. I feel confident because I'm the best player in the world. That's simple. I'm also a douche. <laughs> he didn't even answer the question. He yeah. wasn't asking about confidence. Yeah. He asked about pressure. <laughs> it's true. I never thought about that. What are you that. doing? <laughs> he didn't. You know, you know what's funny is I don't have the rest of the clip, but he goes on to say, no, my hair is 100% natural. <laughs> oh. Yeah. <laughs> He's like, let me get you back on the talking points. Yeah. Let's talk about me being the best player in the world. That's what I'm saying, but like, you know, it's kind of hard not to give him the, the finals MVP because, I mean, I want to say this team – to make a finals has got to be like bottom three all time. Yeah, that like a finals participant. Well, they said it. It is the sixtieth of the sixty-two that have ever been there. Really, so bottom three. Oh shit! There yeah. you go. Look at you the being the smart. people around. Oh, them. Man, Get- what are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> the, the bottom like three, like the worst NBA final participants to ever- around a star. Yeah, but how are you? How are they judging that? Just I don't know. There was some that's like a good question. I, I have to go back to the NBA. There's a, a Twitter account for the NBA, and they actually like computed this. It's, like, it's at the cherry the, street. The, yeah, <laughs> the worst. Like at, it's the sixtieth of the six of sixty-two teams that have been in the NBA Finals. They're the worst yeah. uh, crew around LeBron James. Basically. I think they copied it out of LeBron's journal. By the way, yeah, my team sucks. <laughs> this, yeah, this team is bad, but it is not as bad. Sixty-one or sixty-two must be the other the 07 Cavs. Team, yeah, though. definitely. Yeah, I was gonna say it's that's not as bad as his other team. team. Yeah. Well, let's say what Our about second best player was Mo Williams. Yeah. <laughs> and and then a raw day. LeBron James. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? The yeah. only reason why I would say like this one, it like. To me, like my numbered list is uh, the 07 Cavs, the 01 Sixers with Allen. Iverson. I was about to say the Sixers. Yeah, that team is bad. <laughs> Eric Snow was legit, guys. The, the only reason and they had 
I'm sorry? Dikembe Mutombo. Yeah, yeah. Dikembe. No, no, Swat. no. <laughs> and the only reason why I have LeBron James's uh, 15 calves lower than the Sixers and the other team is because of how good LeBron James is. Like, he kind of, like, makes the team itself <laughs> better. Yeah. And because Blatt takes out the yeah. good players, yeah, and puts in some but terrible. Take ones out the star yeah. players, and that that team is trash. The yeah. fifteen Cavs are. Trash. But I think uh, Phil is one hundred percent correct. Sean Marion should be playing. Yes, he won Why a title. Not?